Hey, it's Matt okay, Sherwood and Anna Georgette Inouye. What up? And we're here right outside the Convention Vancouver, Center, Vancouver Convention Center. We went to the World Championship of Public Speaking last night. You saw the videos inside the room. Yes. And what an event. It was an amazing event. You should have been here. That amazing. was my first time, and it was third. Absolutely. It was so good. What it do you was, think about... It was exhilarating. Uh, there was probably, what, like a thousand, easily a thousand to fifteen hundred people in the room. Absolutely. From all over the world. It was amazing. International event. Ten contestants. Fantastic event. Um, the top three people were all phenomenal speakers. Where? It's ten speakers. It's really hard to pick a winner. It was. I didn't have any problem with the judging. Really. I mean, I was a bit surprised at some of the, the, the contestants that won. But I should say that they all had things that they did well. No doubt, no so doubt. Obviously, there was discretion. Every judge used their discretion. So we, we have our biases, we have our favorites. But it's so interesting that they all had something. We, we understood why they were all there and what their strengths were. And they had five to seven minutes to judge that and make a decision. Not the easiest thing. That Judging is super subjective, and when you have 10 amazing speakers, you really could have picked any one of those. Uh, it was incredible, really, really inspiring, and the one thing I, I felt, that just the energy in the room was incredible, and if you've, if you've never been to the World Championship of Public Speaking, highly recommend it. If you're a new speaker, or even if you're not a speaker, and it's, it was super inspiring. 10 people gave great messages. The World Championship, you don't have to have an inspirational speech, but typically those are the ones that tend to win. Yes, it's typically. so true, it's so true. We did see some people do some out of the box things. That was really good to see. Yeah. And I think that in due time, people will learn more and more that they can bring something different to the stage that will cause all of us to step up our speaking game. So that was good to see. Yeah, and I think there was a couple things that were maybe a little gimmicky. Uh, there always is. The, every year it seems like they, you know, the contestants try to do something unique and original. Uh, this year we had a magician. There was some fire on stage. It was. Never expected to see no. fire on stage at a world championship. <laughs> but so yeah, that guy was cool. Um, a girl disrobed. She took her clothes off. She did. That was in stages, no less. And you know, it, it, it was interesting. It was. It was it was different. It was different. Last year, somebody took underwear and put it over his pants, and now this year, the girl decided, I'm going to go the other way and just take my pants off. Let's speculate and about what's <laughs> going to happen next. What will happen next that will surprise us? I feel like somebody is going to come like floating down from the rafters on chains or something. Or or someone will just get stark naked. Or someone's going to do a backflip. Yeah, yeah, there'll definitely be some nudity. That's, that's, that's true. A There'll backflip. be like a backflip on stage, maybe a series of, I don't know, uh, some MMA fighting. I don't know. It's getting weird. It's getting weird, but it got weird. But bottom line, World Championship of Public Speaking. You're going to be able to see those videos on YouTube at some point soon. So I will share those links at some point, and I want I want you to view those. They're very inspiring. Awesome. But I'm here with Eno. She's taking off soon, sadly. But uh, it's been a great trip. It's been a great trip. A great trip. Remember, subscribe to my channel. You won't be disappointed. More Absolutely. coming very soon. Bye. Bye bye.